So we are going to replace the steam thermostat on our Ronchilio Sylvia. As you can see, the steam is weak and it's cold to the touch. The first thing we are going to do is remove the cover by removing the top screws. Once you remove the screws, take out the water reservoir and pull out the top cover. So to get inside the machine, again all we have to do is remove these top four screws. Very easy to do. Once they're removed, we pull back the cover and we can get to inside the machine. Once the screws are removed, just go ahead and pull up that cover. Make sure the machine is unplugged from the outlet. Once we look inside, we can actually see there's two thermostats. The steam thermostat is the one on the right without the red dot. Now before we proceed, make sure the safety switch inside the machine hasn't tripped. If it has, you will not get steam and you will need to reset it. You can reset it by just pressing it. If your problem is not the safety switch, then we will continue replacing the steam thermostat. I bought the steam thermostat online from Stefano's for about $18. Now beware, when you buy it, you only get the thermostat itself, not the screws or the thermal paste. Again, there's two thermostats. The red dot is for the espresso brew and the other is for the actual steam. The steam thermostat works by registering a higher temperature to create the steam. So both these thermostats are being held together with the same screw, the screw in the middle. But what you want to go ahead is remove the screw in the middle and then the one on the side and pull this clip right up like I'm doing here. Don't lose this because when you buy the thermostat, it does not come with that little clip, does not come with screws, and it does not come with thermal paste. So once you remove the screws in the clip, you can go ahead and just pull the thermostat away from the connector. At this point, if you want to test this thermostat, you can do so with a multimeter. It should read 0 ohms for resistance, or you should have continuity. Again, if the safety switch hasn't tripped and you're getting cold steam and you're not sure, just go ahead and replace the thermostat altogether. So as you can see, they do use thermal paste on here. The thermostat, unfortunately, does not come with thermal paste. So what I would recommend you do is clean out this paste and then just apply new paste paste you can use PC thermal paste uh, for this application then basically you can go ahead and just install the thermostat the same way you took it out uh, make sure you don't lose those screws that clip because that's used to keep both thermostats in place and connected to the boiler while you're watching this I would like to ask you to check out my channel subscribe I make cool videos that I think that you would be interested in so again to put this back it's basically the same way you took it out just uh, make sure that you don't lose that clip and those screws because you're going to need that in order to attach the thermostat onto the boiler. So if your steam is not working and you lost pressure, it can really only be two things. Either the reset switch has tripped or the thermostat is bad. Again, there's two thermostats. The one with the red dot is for the brew and then the one on the right here is for the steam and they cannot be interchanged. You have to make sure you buy the right one. Hopefully if everything went well, you have lots of pressure and it's nice and hot and your steam is working again.